Hey, what's up, guys? The rank four player in the world is focusing on using the overwhelming presence of the Skeleton King and this mortar bait deck to overwhelm even the best players in the world with massive mortar mayhem. When bait cards are spawning in every single crevice of the map and the opponent has to deal with the Skeleton King, the mortar evolution throwing goblins, and the minor tanking for random minions, goblins, and skeletons, the opponent's gonna be in a frantic state of utter confusion. Even if they've got sources of splash damage, they'll get quickly cleaned up by the fireball and arrows. And despite being bait, the Evolved Mortar and Skeleton King are ridiculously robust. So it's not like your entire deck's gonna get melted by Executioners, so you can even stand strong against some of the toughest matchups where your opponent's got Executioners and Bowlers. It's time to rise through the ranks with our unstoppable Skeleton Swarm and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Lots of love to everyone supporting the channel with Critter Code Sir Tag. But apparently we're playing against the greatest of all time, but he's gonna go in for a Goblin Bro and an Ice Spirit immediately. I, I hate that play. It's not fun to play against if you don't have a small spell like Log. Also, it's weird, because if you're able to get a plus two Elixir trade right out of the start of the game, I feel like it's not a good trade for the opponent. So he's playing a little bit risky, adding a little bit of extra spice to the Goblin Barrel there. Maybe he just manifested a matchup where he wasn't playing against Log. I think that's what happened there. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go for a Mortar, and then I think I can go in for a Skeleton King ability. Lots of times we click the Skeleton King ability right before he's about to die to see what our opponent's gonna do. Also, give our opponent less time to react. Like, I'm sure if he saw the Skeleton King ability earlier, he wouldn't have went in for a Tesla directly into that. It's not a play that people would do. We Skeleton Army here. I don't think we take any damage from the Goblins, so that's nice to see. And then I think he's gonna go Princess again, so let's go for a Miner. Love to see a Princess. Can we just snipe the Princess? We have simple needs. <laughs> oh... That would have been cool. Because they're trying to retain value. So Princess of the River is something that he might do now. I don't know. If we can snipe a Princess of the Goblin Gang, that's also pretty derpy as well. Or what if we went like Goblin Gang and then we arrowed a Princess? <laughs> I really want to do it for the memes. It's not necessarily a good strategy. Oh, okay. We're not going to do it because he ended up dropping his Princess in the back. What if I had hit a Goblin Gang and then the, our Goblin Gang locked on the tower? That would have been really fun. I right, we're gonna go for minions, protect our tower from any potential goblins that are gonna hinder our ability to win. All right, we can go for a skeleton army as well, and then we can go for a miner. The good thing about this is I think the skeleton king does survive, albeit not on that much health, but he is alive. <laughs> Maybe he can still make something happen. Definitely, we're gonna be going for arrows on top of the princess. That one straggler skeleton, oh, he was joined forces by a lot of friends. Okay, cool. Skeleton King gonna give a little bit of a slap on the tower too. We could fireball. He's got Tesla, so if we mortar, it would be stupid because 4 for 4 trade, then he has a, a Tesla protecting his princess, so I don't really want to do that. Instead, I'm gonna go in for a mortar, and then I'm gonna go for a Goblin Gang. You guys might be wondering, why are you dropping a defensive mortar? Well, if we drop it on offense, it's just gonna die to a Tesla. If we drop it on defense, at least it's gonna protect ourselves against the princess and then still stay on the maps, and then he can't drop more stuff into us. Like, is he gonna go Goblin Gang at the river? No, he can't. Not allowed to, so it's a nice little distraction for our dude. Maybe we can go in for a miner here in the back. Hit the princess with arrows. I, I, ah, there's the mortar going to hit it. Oh, mortar! Let's go! On your last life, giving us the value. That's what we like. All right, we're going to go Goblin Gang. He's definitely going to try to go in for some shenanigans. See if we can get minions down so we can kill the Tesla. If we can kill the Tesla, that's a vibe. Mortar just needs to stay alive. Mortar just needs to stay alive. We have simple needs. If we can kill the princess so then the mortar doesn't have any issues, that's a vibe. We can go for a Skeleton King, go and push the knight off. Good. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. <laughs> the Mortar Evolution's still alive. <laughs> this is actually comical. All right. We're going to go click the Skeleton King ability, drop our Mortar again. Just trying to cycle as many Mortars as we can because it always gives you value getting that evolution. We're going to Aeris directly on top of stuff so then maybe the Skeletons can kill that. And then we can get our minions in front so then the Tesla locks. Aw. Wait, the Mortar isn't going to die for a while. And then we can get Minions Counter Push. Minions Counter Push is not easy to defend if the Miner is going to be tanking. He has to go Princess. Oh, if the Princess targeted the Miner instead, that would have been awesome. We can Fireball on the Princess. I don't think the Princess is going to survive this. There's no shot, right? Oh, imagine if the Miner just pulled back the Evolved Knight slightly if the Miner stayed alive a little bit longer. Could have been cool. All right, we're gonna go for Skeleton King. He's gonna give us arrows value on the tower. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna go for a Skeleton King and go for a Goblin Barrel counter with the Goblins. All right, not gonna be able to break through because the Skeleton King was in the front, so he couldn't have dropped it in the front. So I figured, like, if we just drop our Skeleton Army in the back, we're fine. Let's go arrows here on the Princess just to eliminate that a little bit faster. And then we can go Goblin Gang if we need to. We can also go in for, yeah, let's go Goblin Gang. It's a little bit better. If your Goblins are gonna stay in the back for a while, now we can go for a Skeleton Army to go and pull everything else back. We can go for a Miner here. What a wacky adventure that we have. But with a Mortar Evolution, I don't know if this adventure is going to last much longer for our dude. We can also Arrows on the Princess. 
And then the goblins are going to give us a built-in distraction. That's quality stuff, guys. Oh, everything's gone. We can go goblin getting off to the side. We can go for a miner. He's not going to be able to get enough damage. You can't rocket me out. That's not enough. We're going to fireball. The mortar evolution's coming through. And we blast through with the win in an incredibly close and clutch game. Constant pressure with the mortar evolution and skeleton king seriously feels so evil. After leaping ahead of vlog bait, we're at 5,000 in the world. Hey, this guy finished 819 in the world. Okay. Top 1,000 challenger approaches. I'm gonna go Skeleton King in the back first play. Usually I don't do that. Most of the time I go Mortar, but we don't have that luxury. Pekka, okay, one of the worst cards in Clash Royale. I'm just gonna straight up say it. I don't care if you guys are Pekka lovers. Pekka, it just doesn't have as much HP. So if you like Pekka, you probably agree with me. You'd be like, buff Pekka, buff Pekka. I'm actually on that train of buffing Pekka. Maybe they'll eventually do it. Hopefully they will. We're gonna Fireball. We're gonna go and trounce that Magic Archer. And then we're gonna go for a Goblin Gang. So then... You know, he might think about zapping this, but it's not that good because now he's not going to have anything for the skeleton army. We're going to immediately drop that in his face and watch as he's just like, wow, that peck is a disgrace. Imagine feeding me that amount of elixir with a skeleton army and then it counter pushes after. You're a top 1000 player and you're losing to a three elixir investment. How does that make you feel? Stop! He's already dead. Probably not very good. Probably not very good. That is the reason that P.E.K.K.A. is awful. A lot of times, it's not very equipped to deal with an immense amount of bait cards in the meta. Top 1,000 player just got destroyed. <laughs> and that's one of the things. Like, if you go for a Goblin Gang and you bait out your opponent's spells, they don't have anything else after that. Oh, what if we Fireball in the Bandit and Fireball in Arrows? Like, if it was double or triple Elixir, it would be pretty fun to do. And single Elixir, we can't do something that unnecessarily stupid. All right, we're going to be able to finish off the Bandit with the Minions, and then maybe we get on top of the Tower, too. Let's just set up a defensive mortar. We're going to be one of those siege players that sits back, relaxes, and says, Hey, Pekka, come to my side of the map and play on my playground, bruh. So I feel like, like the clown from It. I really feel like an awful person right now. <laughs> come on, Georgie. Do you want a balloon? I don't think so. All right. We're going to be able to go in for a skeleton army again because he doesn't have Magic Archer, so there's nothing he can do here. We can go in for probably a Skeleton King, so we can suck up the souls from the Skellies and then throw them right back at him. All right, I bet he goes for a Magic Archer soon. We're not going to be back to Fireball before he's back to Magic Archer. Let's go for a Miner here in the spot that he would have dropped the Magic Archer. Doesn't do it. He's going to go Bandit. Oh, the Skeleton's going to get in front to protect the Miner? That would have been awesome. We just take the tower, though, right? What if we Fireball on Barbarians as they're about to spawn just for the memes? <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect is unreal today with this deck. We haven't even taken damage on our tower. Can we have a perfect game without taking damage? We want him to be fully focused on defending the entire time so then he doesn't realize that he hasn't done damage to my tower. That's the mission right now. We got to keep him on his side of the map the entire time. This could happen. There is a stark chance that we don't take damage in this game against a top 800 player in Clash Royale. If I go for a mortar here so then he can't fireball it and hit the tower, Oh my gosh, 14 seconds. He's not gonna hit it. He's literally not gonna touch my towers. No way. Let's go, baby. Please don't be listening to me. Please don't touch my tower. Don't zap, don't fireball, don't poison. Don't do anything. Just let it happen, man. Yes, sir. A clean game with a dirty deck destroying P.E.K.K.A. That's one of the most priceless moments in Clash. And the unstoppable skeleton and goblin spam has got us to 4,100 in the world. All right, the guy's got the baby dragon banner sleeping in the corner. Hopefully, he's going to be sleeping when the goblins attack his tower. So dropping three elixir at the start is a little bit riskier to do. I like cycling like one elixir cost cards like a fire spirit or ice spirit, but this guy is just ignoring everything. Come on, man. Don't be that guy. Sparky players are always that guy. I'm going to cycle the Skeleton King in the back. I got to go for minions, but it's going to go directly into like a Goblin Giant or something. Wow, it's like I predicted exactly what was going to happen. All right, we're a Skeleton Army here. Maybe the Sparky doesn't target the Skeleton King. Maybe it does. It's fine. Wow. He went in for the most delayed arrows I've ever seen in my life. All right, we can Miner here, and then we can go for a Goblin Gang afterward. The cool thing about this is we've got so many distractions for Mini Pekkas and Sparkies. And even if you're going to have Mother Witch, I don't think it's going to work for you. Because we can arrows on the Mother Witch. It's going to die to Spear Goblins. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Such a sublime start. <laughs> oh, That's one of the best things about Clash Royale is when people overcommit into you. And then they don't get the same damage that you get. And then they're just sitting there like, wait, I got 300 damage from a Goblin Giant? That doesn't feel right. We're going to go for Mortar. We know he's just going to spark you in the back and just all in again. This is what this guy does. This is in his DNA. Yep, he ignores it. He purposely lets the Mortar lock him to the tower so that the Sparky has higher health. This is what these guys do. 
All right, I think he's gonna go in. Oh, never mind. We're in a fireball. He didn't know. He didn't know. He was unaware. <laughs> and now he's caught in a snare. That miner and minions are not gonna look very nice on his tower right now. They're just eating him up. But yeah, this guy's dead. If you ever play against a Sparky player, even if they're at the top of the leaderboards, lots of times they're gonna just go all in, have no self-preservation for their tower, and try to just all in you. And if you have a defensive deck like ours, you're gonna stay safe. A few dominances asserted later. Imagine being our opponent and having to break through an evolved mortar on defense, shooting just goblins at everything that you drop. Your Sparky's not even crossing the river, and you're struggling to keep your other tower alive. <laughs> this guy was absolutely demoralized, and he got electrocuted despite having Sparky. After pulling out the plug on Sparky's offense, we're at 3,300 in the world. We gotta give me a fighter of the New World Order. You know what, dude? Mortar is claiming the lands. That's the order that you have to agree with. Okay, so for first order of business, cycling the mortar at the start, not only is that going to guarantee us a huge lead because the mortar got two shots on the tower, but also on top of that, we get to the evolution a bit quicker, so our opponent is not in a good spot as we snicker. So I'm going to go for the Skeleton King in the back, and I feel pretty sinister because obviously the Skeleton King is going to be able to body block for all of our bait cards. It's going to be hard for him to go for a Dark Prince or a Bowler or anything and feel good about it, right? Skeleton King is thick. Okay, we can go for minions. He's gonna go for a bowler as expected. And then I wonder if we go in for anything else. Like chances are it's better for me to go for a skeleton army here just to devour the giant and then miner on top of the bowler. So then the skeleton king, it, I don't know. It's gonna die, but it'll still give us value. And we can click the skeleton king ability just for good measure to guarantee the bowler goes down. I wonder if the skeletons can give us some extra damage on the tower or force out a zap or a snowball. That's cool. I, I like that. We're gonna get damage and we're gonna force out a mega minion. That's really good. But we didn't get damage. <laughs> I thought the Mega Minion was going to fire a little bit slower than that. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. We can fireball directly on top of the Hunter. But generally, in these type of matchups, you want to go opposite lane of your opponent. So I'm more partial to dropping this fireball. It's, it's not necessarily the best decision. It, it's okay. It's good enough because we ended up hitting the Giant too. So I'll take it. And I think that the Mortar will splash onto the rest of his stuff. It should hit the Hunter. Cool. And we can Arrows on top of all the Skeletons as they start to accumulate. Very nice. Okay, Skeleton King, you just killed the rest of the Skeletons. There's like two Skeletons in the back, bro. <laughs> that was not ideal. We got a full Skeleton King bar coming at our opponent. So I want to go in for a Miner, and then I want to click the Skeleton King ability. Even if he's going to have Bowler, it's not going to be that bad, because Skeleton King ability went... Oh, I forgot about Barbarians. Yeah, this deck always has Barbarians. Most of the time, I was thinking like Skeleton Army, Dark Prince, but then Evolutions came into the meta, and then this is what Clash Royale created. <laughs> Barbarians Bowler decks. If you're playing Hog Rider into this... I feel sorry for you. All right, we're going to Skeleton Army directly on top, and we'll see if he does anything. I think he just loses it. He doesn't get much out of it. Let's go for a Mortar on the other side, because he's probably going to go for a Giant. And maybe he's still Giants on the other side of Tank. Yeah, he does. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, can we go Goblin Gang here, or is that dumb? No, that would have been really bad. I'm glad that I answered my own question. <laughs> I was like, I was hovering it. I was thinking. I was like, he's still got Bowler in Cycle, though. All right. So Spear Goblins are coming through. He's going to drop Evo Barbs, no doubt about it. We can eat the majority of the Bowler damage. Not going to matter that much. We can go for a Skeleton Army afterward, preserve the Skeleton Army as long as possible, then go in for another Mortar. And the thing about this is it's, it's built to do damage. This is something he really has to respect. Okay, so we haven't seen anything completely convincing from his end that he can kill the minions. Like, we haven't seen arrows. We've just seen Snowball so far, right? Unless I'm just forgetting that he's got arrows in his deck. Okay, there's arrows. Not good for us. We can do this, we can get the goblins, and then we can go in for a mortar on the other side. Because we know the Skeleton King is able to suck up all the bowler damage and not be too screwed by it. We can go for our minions off to the side, then we can go in for our miner. I think the hunter dies. Okay, cool. Skeleton King on the right-hand side, we're going to go drop the ability. Even though he's going to have so many small spells and a bowler, I think he's just like eventually going to find a situation where he's going to get overwhelmed. Like that mortar shot there, that should not happen. That's really, really good for us. All right, we can go for our Skeleton Army on the right. We're probably going to get a Bowler out of him. Then we can immediately go in for our Mortar. We're just trying to bait him so then he doesn't have the Bowler in cycle for the Mortar Evolution. Cool. That's so good. That is exactly what we wanted. We can click the Skeleton King ability. I think that we're going to be able to blast through the Barbarians. And then maybe the Mortar is able to kill the, the Bowler. We're really, really lucky. I'm going to Fireball here. Going to try to kill the Hunter so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Looks like if we go for Minions, we're going to be able to finish off the Bowler. I don't know if I want to, though. I just want to keep up the pressure so he can't go Giant Graveyard on me. I have simple needs in life. Not getting Giant Graveyard, all right? Okay, he's going to Giant Graveyard me. That's not what we want to see. Exactly what we didn't want to see. I'm going to go for arrows here. We're going to go in for minions. I might be dead. No! Oh, I forgot there was 80 HP on the tower. Oh, no! 
Guys, I've been playing Clash Royale for a few hours today. I think my brain cells are a little bit fried. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section if you've ever arrowed on defense or dropped a spell on defense when you could have totally taken the game. That's one of the most crushing ways to lose, especially against a giant graveyard deck with double small spells when you're running a bait deck and you have the game locked up and you just throw it in the trash. But it is what it is. We bounce on the next one and we'll bounce back there. I seriously had no clue that we drained his tower that low and I was fully focused on defense. Hey, hey we got to give me his Yusuf with the double swords in the banner. We're ready to slice and dice some towers, man. I'm gonna go for Mortar immediately just to catch him off guard. Maybe we can get some nice damage. He's saying good luck before he's even trying to defend the Mortar. Okay, we literally lost against Giant in the last game. We have to win this match. Redemption arc is right now. This is what we were built for. When a Skeleton Army, he's probably gonna zap her Rage. I gotta kill that mini pack before that happens. Thank goodness. Okay, so minions. Is this gonna be Giant Graveyard again or is it gonna be Giant Sparky? I don't know which one he's gonna turn to, but it's gonna be one or the other, my brother. I think we just let those minions do their thing. And if I take some damage here or there, it's okay. We can then safely procure an offense with our minions plus minor, or we can figure out what he's gonna do before we just jump ahead with maximum elixir trades for no reason. Go to minions plus minor, see if he goes in for a sparky in the back, or if he wants to go in for something else. Ooh, yeah, looking like a sparky bait deck, it looks like. Ooh, good arrows value. And the minions are gonna give us back what we took, you know? Took a lot of damage. Minions just trading blows back and forth. <laughs> it's like they're getting a slap fight or something. Okay, Sparky. Oof. It's kind of like a mix of the giant graveyard deck and this, because graveyard is a lot of bait with the skeletons, and now this guy's got the Sparky, and he's also got the bait element with the minion horde. So I don't think he's expecting us to do that. Huh. All right. Well, you're just going to let the mortar lock under the tower. You're going to go all in. All right. Let's see if this works. Go for a Skeleton Army here. We're going to get it to get spelled. Then we go and click the Skeleton King ability. And then after we click the Skeleton King ability, then we can go for a Goblin Gang. We've got multiple layers of offense and defense here. And that's how you defend against the Sparky Push. Skeleton Army, get them to go and drop their small spells, preferably their arrows. Then they don't have their arrows. They only got like Zap or Rage against the Goblins, which doesn't even kill the Goblins. And then you click the Skeleton King ability in the midst of that, and you make sure that they have to waste their like three or four spells. <laughs> they have nothing left over. I guess he doesn't have three or four spells. That's uh, hyperbole. The dude's got two. But at the same time, he might have a Mother Witch in there, and that, that's the way that I like to play. He's just going to go all in again. This guy straight up built different with this offense. I don't think the minions are going to take tower. I could have went in for arrows if I wanted to, but I want to use the built-in distraction of the Mortar Evolution. You guys didn't get to see this yet, but it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We can go in for a Goblin Gang afterward because I think the Sparky wasted shot, and then we can go in for probably a Miner on top of the Sparky, too. I just don't want the Sparky to ever break through is what I'm trying to say. All right, cool. We get minions down here. We can go for a Skeleton Army afterward. He's going to go for a Zap. He must feel like he's wasting all of his Elixir right now. <laughs> it's just running into a brick wall 24-7, 365. We go for arrows just to meme on him a little bit. Then we can go in for a Goblin Gang. We know for a fact that he needs to break through with this Giant. Fine. Oh, one HP. Well, it's not going to stay at one, man. It's not. The fun has just begun for us. We're going to be going and spamming a Fireball directly on your Minion Horde. And we walk with a dominant display. There is nothing that you can do to get in my way, man. That Miner is shoveling on the tower. And the amount of cards that you ignored throughout the match dug you a hole that you couldn't climb out of. <laughs> Like, subscribe for more daily videos and have an incredible rest of your day.